The first week in February marks the annual Southern Farm Show at the North Carolina State Fairgrounds in Raleigh. It is an exposition of agricultural equipment dealers, goods, and services, and showcases the newest technology available to farmers and ranchers. Before farmers had access to high-powered tractors and machines, the draft horse was their source of power. The revolution in agricultural technology, westward expansion, and the growth of American cities during the 19th century led to the emergence of the draft horse as America's principal work animal. For the last 34 years, the Southern National Draft Horse Pool has served as the grand finale for the Southern Farm Show in Raleigh. I spoke to Calvin Davis, the co-organizer of the Southern National Draft Horse Pool, to learn about draft horse pools and the entries in this year's event. If somebody were to just get a real short snippet of what a draft horse pool is, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that there is a short snippet, but the draft horse pool is, is um, the, the draft horses are the Arnold Schwarzeneggers of the horse world. These are the big boys, and, and it's a, a test of strength and endurance. We'll hook these horses to a sled loaded with weights, and we'll pull it till we stop them. And, and we'll start about four or 5,000 pounds on the sled with teams of horses weighing uh, in the neighborhood of 5,500 pounds, and they'll pull it until we're up probably close to 12,000 pounds to find a winner. 90% of them are gonna be Belgian horses. We have probably two teams of Suffolk horses, and I've got one spotted draft horse here. Draft horses are descendants of the Great Horse, which were the horses of knights in armor in the Middle Ages. There are five major draft breeds in the United States. Nearly all draft breeds are large and heavily muscled. They stand approximately 64 to 70 inches high and weigh anywhere from 1,600 to 2,200 pounds, depending on their breed, age, and condition. The most prevalent draft horse in the United States is the Belgian. I personally share a connection with the Belgian breed. My great-grandfather, John Dale Bollard, and grandfather, Victor Bollard, bred and raised Belgians to work on their farm in northwestern Pennsylvania. During our interview, I asked Mr. Davis to describe some of the jobs that the draft horses that were entered in the pool have outside of the arena. Uh, Sam Hawley is here from Puxatoni, Pennsylvania. And that's where the official field lives. And yesterday he told me they were doing sleigh rides all winter with his horses. Oh, wow. Um, Chad Miano will be here. He's a professional logger and they log every day. Blaine Chafin is here and he logs with his horses. Uh, Joe and Guy Woods from down here at Lumberton are here and they use their horses in a carriage business. So most of these horses have another job. Right. This, is, this is what they do for fun. I also asked Mr. Davis to explain how he feels draft horse pools help preserve agriculture history. <clears throat> for most of the folks that will be here tonight to watch the pool, th this is the only chance they'll get to see these, these kinds of horses. It's, it's pretty foreign to most people. So the next time you see a large tractor or combine being used to work the land on a farm, I hope you remember agriculture's original horsepower and the past and present contributions of draft horses.